Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Dodgy and today we are continuing the series of Bendy and the Dark Revival. Where we last left off, we ended up finding Wilson. Or rather, Wilson found us. Whatever. Alright, we gotta follow Wilson. Um, still don't trust him. With that being said, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy, and let's get on with the show. So, I did... I did already come back here. There was a note back here, um, but I already picked it up. Oh, there's a book. I'm coming, Wilson. You look even worse than before. The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has become a shadow. Ooh. It was nothing. Wait a second. Wait just a minute. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Wait a second. So the demon can talk to me? So you're telling me the demon can talk to me? And he's telling me that Wilson is lying. Wait, Wilson? 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 You bastard! You locked me in here again? Oh, this is not good. Wilson is going to try and kill me in this weird thing. He wants me to stand there. No, I, I know exactly what's going on. I know exactly what's going on, Wilson. You set a trap. You're not in here with me. You left me here so that way you can... The subject will stand in the designated location. No, no. Because I know what's going to happen. You're going to try and take whatever demon is inside of me and, and rip it apart like you did before. No. Two hours later. Obviously, I have no other choice but to stand there. Oh my god. Take my stupid gent pipe. There's the- oh wait, there's the axe. What's the uh... The, like they looked at both of these things and the frying pan. Hmm. Were these weapons from before? Like I'm pretty sure this was from the, from the guy, right? This was from uh, Henry. Which was me in the first game. And I don't know what, maybe Boris had a, a Tommy gun? I don't know. Where'd they get a Tommy gun from? Anyways, I don't know. I'm overthinking now. The subject is cleared for entry. Oh, there you are, Wilson. Welcome to the civilized world. Uh, How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. I bet they did. Oh, how nice. I love your decor. Whoever painted you in this in this modest fashion. It, very, 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 uh... Very telling of your victory. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. Mm -hmm. Rest will do you good. Mm -hmm. Betty will show you to your room. Is she Betty a robot? Keeper, among other things. Oh, among other things. <laughs> the ink demon did you no he's too powerful to destroy so we sealed him away trapped him in a different form one that was smaller harmless Bendy. it was a fitting prison although he seems to have found a way to free himself 
But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Well, what's over this way? What's in the what's in the west wing? <laughs> Wait, no, that's the the north wing. Sorry, I'm thinking of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs, and then there's the north wing. I'm guessing we must never go into the North Wing, right? Is that usually how it works? The Ink Demon got in there a while ago, and ever since, we've had to keep the North Wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So. Mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Oh, great. Awesome. Good to know. I'm still trying to figure out if she's a robot or not. It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Like Wilson? All right, here we are. Best room in the house. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, this is quite lovely. Thank you. Thank you, maid. I forgot your name already, so. You should see where I sleep. Ooh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Bathroom's on the left. Stains. I did try my best to get them out. Oh, because this ink, right? Because there's a bunch of ink everywhere. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, this is quite lovely. Thank you. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. Mm. I don't trust anyone. Yeah, I don't blame you. Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Oh. Follow the instructions carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. Betty. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. So she's a failed experiment, probably because like most of her body, and like I noticed, most of her body was like it looked pretty human, like no real inkiness. It was only her face that looked like a robot. So. Maybe he's trying to recreate his own mother? That's kind of weird. What's a Gilson? Gilson. What is a Gilson? This is a huge bathroom. Wow. Can I go behind the curtain? I guess not. Am I <laughs> Am I just going to pee with the door wide open? I guess so. Can I wash my hands? 
No, we're just gonna pee and and not wash our hands? Great. Can I open any of these doors? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Oh! Theory about space. Well, that didn't tell me anything. Nope. Ah! Okay, so freshwater creatures. So the Gilson... Gilson is a fish. And there was a fish in the other room. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful, soothing drink. Okay. So I'm looking for a fish. Yeah, and I already, I already, one here somewhere. yeah, I already found the fish. I know what the fish is. So this is just uh, sim simple snacks, cheeseburger recipes, chocolate bacon soup. What? Okay. So if I, pr if I play this. Maybe if it was closer. Is that? No, no, no. Make it as close as possible. Here we go. All right, fishy, you're mine. That did it. it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Gotcha. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <coughs> <coughs> oh, hi. Uh, hello. I uh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? Yeah. And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Uh, I'll be. Uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Ha! Okay. Awesome. Okay, return to my bedroom. All right. Hey, well, if you wouldn't have forgotten the Gilson in the first place, we wouldn't have had to try and take Harold out of his, his uh, little tank there. I'm just saying. She's a terrible maid. Okay. Exactly three. Oh, oh. Just three sips of water. That's not water. That's not water. That's ink. One. Here we go. Two. Bottoms up. Is there going to be a demon behind me? Three. <gasps> no, worse. It's Alice. Where did Alice come from? She just came out of nowhere. Was she hiding in the bathroom? I think Alice was hiding in the bathroom. Let's have fun. Huh? 
plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles, I hate riddles. What a wonderful idea! No. Hmm. All right, Holly. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle. Great. And return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heaven switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. You fry. Great. Awesome. No. Oh, I don't like puzzles. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Okay. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. I feel like I need to write this down. The rabbit never sits with the bird. But he loves to play for company of the bear. There's four characters, right? The fox would never sit sit on the left. Um, so the rabbit is next. So the rabbit never sits with the bird, but loves the company of the bear. So I put the rabbit on the far left because the fox would never sit on the far left. The fox and the rabbit would never sit together. Okay, so I put the fox more so on the right. The bird won't sit with the rabbit, okay, which is fine because the bear is right there. The bird will not sit with the rabbit, but will sit next to the fox. And the fox and the bear won't sit together. The bear sits next to the bird. So the fox is over here. All right, there you go. That's what I got. Let's see what's up here. Any secrets? Oh, okay, so this is why. Spin that, that's a pig. That's a, what did I say? Okay, so yeah, the rabbit, the bear. Where's a bird? The bird and the fox. There we go. Oh, is this an electric chair? Is she gonna electrify me? This is great. Go ahead and shock me, if you must. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that was brutal. Let me get out of here. Where? Well, maybe you should come up with a better riddle. Oh, crap. That's right. I don't have my... Oh, there it is. Yay! Ah! Oh, God! I thought you guys were dead! Power it down! I recharge it just in case. Um, can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, Alice. Miss Angel. No one an angel. No one. Whoa. Well, Jesus! Oh, we're we're going to, we're going to. I'm way prettier than you, anyways. No, no, no. Oh. 
Come on. No, you're out there. Don't notice me. Oh, nice. Okay, yes. I'm gonna need that. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Where did you go? Nowhere. Nowhere that you need to be concerned with. Ooh. Okay, she can't see me from here. Ooh. Oh, oh god, okay. Yes. No. Ugh. Alright, at least this is here. What do I do, though? Here we go. Banish Alice. Okay, so that that opened the door. I don't think she can see me. She has no idea that I'm here. Come out, come out wherever you are. Hi, Alice. Okay. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, she's mad. Final curtain, baby. Let's blow them away. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's the other Alice. one was the Atlas. Uh, this feels so familiar. Cause he did it in the first game. <laughs> right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this, Boris. Audrey, meet Tom. Oh, He's Tom. Protector. Oh, hi, Tom. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms, at least on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh, what do you have in mind? How about... Bobby! Allison. It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. Ooh. That's good enough for me. Ooh, there's a deeper story. Like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well... If it's true, 
You'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Oh, nice! Nice, she took the Tommy gun! That's awesome! And I guess, like, the, the Boris that I thought, I thought Boris was crawling in the vent. It must have been Tom? Thomas? I'm gonna call him Thomas. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you again in the next one. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. <laughs>